I'm in Arlington, Virginia, just opposite the very wall of the Pentagon that was struck uh, on September the 11th, 2001, when the hijackers that had seized control of that aircraft plowed it into this side of the building. When I arrived just a day later, along with emergency responders as a chaplain, I led a procession of clergy right down the hill just in the distance beyond the camera range here. And we walked, descended down the hill just opposite that wall and led a spontaneous prayer service. It was one of the most moving experiences I will ever have in my life. Hundreds of people gathered, they prayed with us, knelt and prayed. One columnist from the Washington Post said he hadn't prayed since he was a child, but he felt compelled to pray then. It was a deeply spiritual time. It was a very distressing time. I remember that wall with its giant smoking cavity, uh, roughly in the shape of an aircraft. I could see the fuselage, the wings, the tail, though they had vaporized in the explosion. You could just basically see their outline. Rescue workers were still searching for bodies. Uh, later, I would return with friends who were uh, providing daily ministry to the rescue workers themselves, to the personnel on site, uh, feeding them and so forth. Uh, it was just, it was a, a, a very full and rich time, but perhaps one of the most sorrowful times uh, I can remember in, in my own life or ministry. So just being here uh, brings back a torrent of those memories. And that's what this week is all about. It's about remembering. Uh, you know, in Judaism, remembering is a sacred act. And in Christianity, Jesus told us to remember him. That when we gather for communion, we do it in remembrance. Remembrance is a holy and spiritual act in and of itself. And it certainly is true here. Remembering those who were lost, remembering those who survived so courageously, so bravely, remembering those who selflessly went in to save whoever they could, and remembering how vulnerable we are and how much in need we are of God and of one another, which reflects the great commandments to love God and to love our neighbors because we need God and we need our neighbors. And that's what being here at the Pentagon today and all the remembrances of this week are all about.